Annyeong. I guess that's my new opening now every single time. Hi! <laughs> um, we're on I Have Notes now. But before we do that, I have to let you guys know about our sponsor. Uh, sign up for ExpressVPN. Have you heard of them? Don't let your hackers steal your financial details, especially when you're buying GameStop stock. Uh, use expressvpn.com slash RTTV. Um, so that's one out of the way. Number two, join us in chat. Uh, you can create a free Rooster Teeth account right now, and you can join us. Um, I have chat open. I have so many windows up, and chat's like right in the middle of my screen. So I see everyone. Watch yourself. Thank best you be good. Much. Best everyone. behaving in there. Best behave. Best be buying um, GameStop stocks. Best be buying GameStop stocks. Not right now. Stocks. Don't buy right now. Don't buy right now. <laughs> um, so another thing too, check out Wrestling with uh, maybe, the Week. We know. got a lot of cool shows coming up. Uh, Wrestling with the Week is one of them. Want to shill that out for a hot second. Um, yeah, look, it's streaming now on Rooster Teeth and all podcasting platforms. Shout out to James Willem. And now we're on to our show. Hello, welcome to I Have Notes, the show where we have notes and the points don't matter. We talk creativity, <laughs> animation, and stonks. I am your host, Issa Badiola. I have zero stocks in GameStop. And joining me back in town is Carrie Stockcross. They call me, they call me Stonk, Stonk Boy. Stonk Cross. Stonk Cross. <laughs> I like it. Stonk Cross. Stop uh, billion dollar girl. I have, oh my god. I have an indeterminate number of GameStop stocks <laughs> now cuz I am a trend chaser. <laughs> but uh, Carrie will tell because his information is protected by ExpressVPN. <laughs> <laughs> and my mouth. Um, and his mouth. Uh, and uh, to break tradition for a bit, because I wanted to do a special intro, do next it. up is our hedge fund manager who doesn't actually manage our money, Aaron Wynn. Hey, hey. that's me. I don't know anything about stonks, so. Uh, uh, <laughs> Neither do I, and I'm spending money on them. <laughs> Oh no, oh boy. And newcomer starting from the bottom. Now we're here to be rich, Cole Galleon. Woo! Woo, 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 woo. I'll do anything. Is that your summer house <laughs> from all the game stonks? From all the game stonks. That's, yeah, stonks. from all the game stonks. That's my, that's my catchphrase. I'll do anything. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. Ooh, okay. I'll do anything. Carrie, okay. anything up there. I see you up there. I feel like you're you're embracing way too much of the Wolf of Wall Street. Uh, <laughs> Kind of I, I, I'm, I'm fast money now, Carrie. <laughs> the wolf Big of business. I learned a lot in the past <laughs> um, yeah. a day. What, <laughs> what does Wolf of Wall Street look like now? Is it just like some dude taking a bunch of like vitamins? Jordan Belfort. Mm. <laughs> you know, you know Jordan Belfort. vitamins. I'm no. talking oh, about them. I get it. I get it. <laughs> he, uh, he looks about. He looks about the same. He looks about. He looks a stone. Hey, all the hey. Time still. Why are Flintstones vitamin kids vitamins? What makes them? Ki- can I? Mm, hang on. You can have. Are you kid- gonna Google that? Hey, Flintstones. You can vitamins. still have Flintstones vitamins. You can still have them. It's just vitamins that it, it's encouraging kids to take because Ooh. vitamins probably taste nasty. They do. Uh, uh, do kids nowadays even know who something. the Flintstones are? Ooh. That's the thing. They, they probably think they're the vitamin people. Uh, <laughs> also, uh, just real cereal. quick, we don't have to go into this too much. Uh, Target's review to the average rating is uh, two stars with 68 reviews of Flintstones chewable tablets. Oof. Oh no, what so went something, wrong? Something's wrong. Either they what? weren't Flintstones, either they weren't Flintstones enough, weren't chewable enough, or weren't vitamin enough. Oh, I I'm see. I'm just gonna click it's, on this link and see if I can. Uh, those are the three promises Flintstones vitamins make to you. Let's see if I can <laughs> suck any, any comedy out of this. Um, uh, keep going. Big suck. How it was? How is everyone right now? Just in the moment, we just present. Oh, it's good. It's tense. I'm present. I took a nap today. I took a nap oh, today too. Nice. Ooh, nap, I nap, feel, girls I feel and fresh. boys. Hell yeah. I feel fresh. <laughs> so, How are you, Isa? Um, I'm good. There is a a whole debacle uh, I had just an hour ago where we found like a missing dog, and it turned out to be our neighbor's <gasps> dog. Um, but we it, that that all That's... worked out. It was a very interesting. I was in a daze for like 20 minutes because I was like, I don't know what to do when our dog comes back home because he both loves and hates other dogs. So <laughs> <laughs> we figured it out though. <laughs> duality of man. The duality dog. of dog. <laughs> duality of dog. <laughs> Um, yeah. I can tell you how my day's going. Uh, Heather twenty seven on Target. <laughs> Thirty years of loyalty down the drain. What? Uh, Target or to Flintstones? Vitamins. There is a new formula, vitamins. and it tastes awful. 
But they've always tasted awful. They did. Wait, are you telling me they messed with the formula? Uh, and, the Krabby and just Patty one of the parts formula? of their sentence that answered my question. Because they're 30. I'm almost 30. My mother took them. Then I did. In parentheses. And never stopped. Uh, oh which I then passed down the love of them to my son. Addiction. It's called an addiction. <laughs> Three called an addiction. generations of Flintstone vitamin eaters. And gone. Down the drain. Down the drain. Because of the one formula change. I guess I shouldn't invest in well, Flintstone so no, gummy here's the They're going to come back with Flintstone vitamin You're classic. Right, yeah. And then they're going to get the whole wave back. Like, we listen to the people. We're bringing back <laughs> the Flintstones vitamins you like. You get to suck on them. You can chew on them. You can swallow them whole for all we care. But it's the same formula you always loved. They're but we did change one thing, but we're not going to tell you. Oh, no. Flintstones vitamins classic. Okay, so all of the reviews, the bad reviews have been about the taste except for this one. Uh, that's, uh, uh, this is the last one I'm going to do. I'm sorry. Uh, it's from Mama Bear. Ooh. Uh can't get top off the bottle. <laughs> uh, oh. It's too oh. childproof. Just gonna... And she is a mother bear. She is a mother bear, so that the amount of strength She's going to use her bars. bare hands to open well, it. Well, she's going to use more oh. than that because she says, I'm going to have to cut it open with a box cutter. So Maybe apparently Mama they, doesn't know best. They knew that they <laughs> tasted so bad that they tried <laughs> to keep you, you from getting to them. Yeah. Uh, okay, I've Bruno got. I've got says, Flintstonks? The Flintstonks. The only thing yeah. worse. Flintstonks. <laughs> the only thing worse in this comment than these these reviews are. Have y'all ever noticed on Amazon? Sometimes, like, someone asks a question about like uh, a, p- a pack of socks, and it's like, uh, how how thick are these? Uh, do you, do they do you feel like they'll last for a while? And someone will probably be, I don't know. I don't have them. <laughs> I've never seen that actually. I see it. All the time. Yeah. Oh my god! No, I. It's like I, I it's like they're people just, doing this for community service, and they're just like people I just, answer just like to talk. I think people just like to talk and want to get there. I think not enough people listen anymore, Carrie. I think people need to listen more because otherwise people have to go online and not follow the rules and and, and answer questions that the, the question wasn't asked. Listening's the worst part, though. I just want to get in, say what I have to say, and then be thinking about the next thing I'm going to say while you're talking. So, hold on, I was thinking, what was that about the, I was about to say? You Wait, would you say sorry? I was thinking something else. <laughs> oh, okay. Wait, you said you say notes. something? Stonks! 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 Hi, everyone. Hi. Uh, sorry about that tangent. Uh, no, welcome to the show. perfect. Cryo Am, uh, Cryo Ame? Cryo Am. In chat was like, please bring back fan service, which is, I want to bring up that this is our, now our fan service No, it's dead. Reunion. I killed it's it. It's dead now. Yeah. But uh, we're here in I your heart it. forever, and we're going to talk about anime. But before we even talk about anime, Carrie did want to bring up something else. Yes, today's anime day, and I'm going to talk about my favorite anime, the platforming game Celeste. <laughs> <laughs> um... Uh, I just so this is this has been my obsession. My this hey, this is this this wraps all the way back to creative stuff. Uh, my new creative hobby is finally trying to learn how to make games, which I've always wanted to do. Uh, and I discovered this thing called Pico Eight, which I'm super behind on. This is not Boku no Pico. Yes, I knew it. <laughs> uh, I was thinking that every single time, and I never said anything. <laughs> And it's just, uh, they describe, the creator describes it as a fantasy console. It's basically like um, a, a console that never actually existed. It, it kind of, it, it, the, the closest comparison I can think of, uh, and this is going to, I'm sure, go over a lot of people's heads, just like Flintstones, is like a Commodore 64, where it's like its own mm. little thing. But it's this little, it's this application on your computer, and inside of it, you draw your sprites, you make your map, you do your code, you do your sound effects, you do your music, and then the game cartridges are png files and that's how you share your game oh, that's cool. um, and the whole Whoa. game is in in on like the png file Whoa. um that's Wait, how like big, my... how big are these pngs they're pretty small there there oh, there's shit. there are this is a thing where um this whole console and everything about it is it's specifically limited mm-hmm. so that uh to kind of one kind of like invoke like it's very much kind of like to me it feels like in between uh ness and snes era um, like by default, there's only 16 colors, although somebody found out a way that you can get like 
it's been interesting. Like somebody found out a way. Like we found sixteen more colors if you, <gasps> if you change the memory. But then you can only get you can still only get sixteen colors to deploy on screen. Wait, we found a way where you can replace one of those colors with any of the other fifteen, so you could theoretically get thirty-one colors on screen. Is this very like, <laughs> like, like I don't know? It's, it's a very cool feel, but it's intentionally limited, so they're not very big files. Um, yeah. But this is the the console that uh, Celeste, the platformer that probably people know much more about, um, was originally prototyped on. It was a game jam uh, done in uh, four days. Mm. Uh, and they made the entirety of this like little Celeste game, which you can find that game as like an unlockable in the uh, Celeste proper. I don't know what you want to call it, like the main Celeste game. They're now calling this other one Celeste Classic. Um, but the reason I'm bringing all of this up... <laughs> is because yesterday was the third anniversary of the main uh, release of Celeste, like the the main, the, the big boy game, if you will. Happy uh, birthday, Celeste. And they decided to celebrate it by releasing a Celeste Classic 2. 2. It's a brand Whoa. new game. A sequel. It, uh, has a new With character. new characters. New character, Whoa. new mechanic. You're not dashing anymore. You've got oh. a grappling hook. Uh, and it's harder. <laughs> Uh, oh, shit. Uh, I uh, you, there's no saving, so like when you oh, turn no. it off, you're just like, oh, no. gonna start from the beginning. No, again. thank you. Uh, so I'm like oh, two. It is like a classic game. Yeah, I'm like oh, two boy. levels in. Um, I fi- I got to the point where like the first time I beat like the the original Celeste Classic, it took me like at least like half an hour. Like I was not very good at it, like in one sitting and I just kept playing it. And now it's like 10 minutes, but people are like speed running like two minutes. Of um, this is going to take me a while. Oh, no. Um, but I was talking about you can it. play it in your browser. Yeah, you can play it. So, uh, oh, you can cool. play it in your browser. Um, uh, uh, Maddie Thorson, one of the, the like co-creators along with, uh, Noel, oh, I can't remember the last name. I apologize. I think it's Noel Barry. Um, they, they've tweeted out about it. Um, and, uh, uh, yeah, you, you, you play in your browser. There's an EXE you can download. Um, they have it all up on uh, HIO. Um, yeah. But it's uh, incredible. And I just think it's really cool that they kind of, like, celebrated, like, the roots of the game by, like, doing this new, like, you know, version in the original engine. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I mean, who knows? I, I, they're, they, they've said that they're... Uh, they originally their company was Matt Makes Games, but I believe it's something else now. It's um, mm. I'm scrolling. I'm sorry. Um, uh, extremely okay games. Um, extremely okay games. Yeah. Um, yeah. Lo- lower the lower the expectations so that. We can <laughs> yeah. Better. Extremely. You won't, okay. you won't be disappointed that way if you have low exactly. expectations. Yeah. Yes. Well, I I believe, and I, I'm 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 kind of guessing this is a part of it, but um, uh uh. Matt, uh, I believe it was only a few months ago, uh, transitioned and, and is now Maddie. Um, cool. Oh. So I think that was part of it because originally the, the, the company's name was uh, Matt Mix Games. Ah, um, yeah, makes sense. So um, I believe that was part of it. But uh, yeah, I am nice. very excited. I think it's really cool. And uh, that's my anime. Hey, and a new hobby. And a, a new, new hobby. A new I, creative I, hobby. Yeah. Good work. Proud of you. I spent like 10 hours doing stuff and I was like, "Uh oh, what What day is it? <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, I'll either drop it Just in a week or, or, or hopefully I'll release a game. Who knows? Oh, I'll be there. Get it on the ground floor. All right. Let's talk about anime. Yeah, I there is a piece of news that was I actually wanted to bring up and it's on the topic sheet. Uh, Hell yeah. Thank you, Aaron. You're welcome. Um, because... Uh, Someone had tweeted out a while ago, and I had quote retweeted it, and it's kind of just like chain reaction to this. Dean Angel, the manga mm-hmm. from uh, our middle school era, yeah. is finally ending after 24 years of hiatus. I don't think it was on hiatus for 24 years. I think it's just been on and off over the course yes. oh. of 24 years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Over the course of 24 years. Though. Yeah. This and I'm like thinking, is it? Something it's I don't 24 know years. You don't? I'm surprised, Gary. This is like oh, I feel like the gateway I'm... drug of anime. Yeah, like it's a gateway drug of anime for a lot of girls because it's yeah. super. It was if you look at it, it's kind of your classic like big eyes, small nose, the shonen um, pretty boy. Sh- yeah, well, it's, a, it's a shoujo. It's a shoujo. It's a shoujo. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, Sam, by the way, says invest in Carrie Stonks. He is making Celeste three. Um, there you go. I, you heard it here I, first. 
wish I could. Oh, <laughs> hang on real quick. I, one thing, I, I'm sorry. One thing about the Pico, which is interesting, is that all of the games you can open up and see how they made them. Ooh. Cool. So That's I'm cool. Oh, reverse there are, there are There were already people that kind of like took apart the original Celeste and made like their own levels and mods and stuff. Um, but it's a cool way to learn uh, if Yay. you're interested in, in gaming. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I just got reminded of that. <laughs> We will oh, allow um, it. This one. Yes, yes. <laughs> Caesar uh, just said, so it came back to die. So it came back to die, <laughs> <an> Angel. <laughs> what, it did, what is Caesar, this, you're right. What is this so, show about? Oh, God. I I, I like, can tell you. Oh, He's like, DNA. Go for it. DNA Angel, or DNA Angel. So, yeah, I get it. Yeah. Um, it is a shoujo manga about a kid who actually, like, legitimately has the genetic... Um, capability power to turn into a phantom thief um his name is uh the kid's name is daisuke he's 14 years old i'm pretty sure um and he is the main character of her story he has a huge crush on his classmate named risa and she is a twin um and he knew risa and his sister riku uh they're like childhood friends and stuff Mm -hmm. uh they're like uh they're pretty well off like they live in this like really nice mansion or whatever um and uh, he is connected to them via also his uh, alter ego, who is a phantom thief named Dark. I'm pretty sure it's Dark. Yes, yeah, uh, Dark Mousy. Because, yep. Dark Mousy, yep. Because I'm pretty sure he's like looking to steal the stuff that their family owns because it's like jewels mm. or expensive stuff and stuff like that. Um, further, this was very Persona Five. Oh yeah, yeah. Speaking of, because I've I've been watching my soul play through that. <laughs> mm-hmm. So uh, it's further connected. Like, just imagine this um, uh, red string on a corkboard. <laughs> further connected because Risa has a huge crush on Dark. Because it's like, oh, if he Classic. like says like he's gonna steal something, it's like a huge news spectacle. So she has a huge crush on Dark, but Daisuke likes Risa, and Dark is kind of just like, I'm just gonna do my own thing. Um, and then, uh, Risa's twin sister, Riku, actually has a huge crush on Daisuke, as we learn through <gasps> the series, because they're, like, close friends, so they're, like, the best friends who maybe like each other more? I don't know, but Daisuke still has a crush on his sister. So, there's that string, and then, yeah. uh, you have a detective rival, as every phantom thief needs. Pikachu. Who is Pikachu, <laughs> who is a high schooler named Satoshi, who is also in their grade. And he has glasses, like platinum white hair. Like he's like the complete opposite. Only it turns out he has a dark genetic alter ego as well named Light. So it, <laughs> Dean Angel is very much like the duality of man in a shoujo comic. And I'm just like, the more I describe but, it or how on. I'm like remembering everything, I'm just like, oh my God. Hold on, hold on, hold, hold on. Holding. The wiki says that his name is Crad. Oh, it's I Crad. Think... Okay, because it's Grad dark is backwards. Dark backwards. <laughs> it's not oh. light, it's Crad. <laughs> okay. But yeah, it's like this whole thing about how like their parents <laughs> and their family line or something. I just wanted to say, yeah, just... I wanted to say it just for Carrie's reaction. As in C-R-A-D? Nope, nope it's K. K-R-A-D. Dark spelt backwards, Carrie. Is dark spelt with a C? No, you, you fool. <laughs> Issa, I was... I was really interested and I had a lot of like questions I wanted to ask and now I'm angry. It's also a character <laughs> named Alucard. Guess what his name Which is. Which is funny because it, <laughs> it's funny because uh, it, it's all uh, uh, katakana, uh, yeah, katakana. Yeah. Daku Mauji and then Kurado. So it's not even like the reverse. <laughs> not even like actually, yeah. Is it the reverse? No, it's not even the reverse. Okay. Okay. It actually spells Dracula. Sure. <laughs> it, it should have stayed on hiatus forever. Oh, man. Okay, so uh, Molly. Oh, wow. I'm oh go at, ahead, Aaron. I, I was looking at the um, Kotaku article that yeah. announced this. So the manga went on break from August 2005 to April 2008. And it, it and then, started in 97. Yes. So this is uh, quite... Yeah quite uh, the old manga. Uh, yeah. And then after a seven-year hiatus in 2011, it, it resumed monthly serialization in 2018. So, it's been on and off. And there is an anime, but I don't... I mean, I, I'm assuming it hasn't gotten that far. Ooh, so the oh, anime, I mean, the anime came out in 2003 and didn't do anything else. Yeah, so, yeah, so they that was around the era where um, the 
anime adaptations of manga kind of went their own way because they weren't done. Yeah. Mm. And so uh, the way that the anime ended, um, uh, there was an ending and they did hint at like certain relationships that they picked up, like Risa Satoshi, which I was a huge fan of in middle school. Thank you very much. Um, and uh, the it was, it was uh, yeah, yeah. It, it had to end uh, its 24 episode or 26 episode run. But I'm pretty sure the manga also wanted to go a little bit more into that BL route. So um, hell yeah, that is one of the key differences on top of the manga just continuing. Wait, are you telling me Dark and Crad are gonna be? Were one of was one of the I, the, the I, things they wanted to explore Crad changing his name to literally anything else. <laughs> Even um, crab. Well, you have to read the manga to find out. <laughs> I'm a dark crad guy myself. Dark I'm a dark crad. Uh, one of the, uh, I think some of the covers which showed a lot of Satoshi Daisuke because that was kind of like a classic BL pairing of like the mm-hmm. really happy sunny. Oh hell yeah! I'm character. seeing some Google. You are on fire, Google. Lisa, I can I can just tell how much this shaped you. I think it shaped have- a lot of people. Yeah. Again, you have it no is idea. The gateway drug into anime and boys love. So I, I, Mike's TDing, right? Mike is TDing. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, Perfect. I was gonna say because yeah, a couple a couple things you were describing. I, this almost feels like it has that like um, uh, uh, uh what the fuck is it um, whatever. Uh, it, it has that effect where it's like you're describing things as like oh that sounds kind of tropey. And it's like oh well maybe it's because it started it with started this. the tropes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Also, the opening for the anime slaps. It's still I listen to it still. It's it's a good fucking song. I don't. I I have just so much trouble believing you because you took so long to mention Crad. <laughs> look at those she boys. Knew, she knew. She knew that. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Yeah, there. Look at them. Wait, why is yeah, it so small? Make it bigger. That's Dice they Gate go and Dark. Like, bam, 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 whoop de whoop de whoop. Cole, no. Here's the problem, because the, the way that you're supposed to do that is okay, Carrie. We're gonna talk about something that's really interesting. It was there really important to my childhood. I think it's really great. I'm gonna need you to. This is the one bad thing. One of the characters is named Crad. Hey, Crad. And if you you're can get past that, you're talking to me. You're talking to Cole. Cole explains. That's why I explain things the way I do. To always keep you guessing. I never have to explain Crad if I do, if you if I was explaining it. We never, Crad would never even come up and be, well, well, it'd be the first name. So there's this guy named Crad, and he's a detective. Yeah, I said Crad, and you said shut up. Dark, who is, who's, Dark is Crad spelled backwards, Carrie. Can you believe that? Dark is Crad spelled backwards. Just name him Dark, then. <laughs> but that's no, not the, the main point, name is Carrie. Dark. Oh. Yeah, the main guy's named Dark. It's he's the opposite of Is there a character named White? I wish. I thought his name that's was White, but it was That's Crad. in uh, Death Note. Yeah. They yeah. couldn't do that. That's in Death Note. They get arrested. Yeah. But uh, Crad actually looks like the legitimate opposite of Dark because Dark has long purple He's a hair that is like kind of emo y. Yeah, and, and Crad has light blonde hair and he's a psychopath. Uh, so. Oh, let me see. Yeah, he's like, he's oh like my a- gosh, that wasn't Crad. That was Dark. That was, oh my gosh. He sounds like a bad oh, boy. Whoa. Cole's like Crad. reliving his childhood right now. I'm just going to yeah. see what happens if I just oh. search for Crad. Ooh, I'm just thinking of come up. Crad Rave. Oh, it, it a lot comes. Up. Oh, here we go. Never mind. Here's the art. Here's the art. There okay. we go. Let's copy this image. Send it over to Mike. So yeah, that Bubba is boom. finally Bubba ending. Um, uh, Dean Angel was like the art style oh, that I really wanted to imitate when I was younger. Yeah. Yeah. Aaron agrees. Yeah. <laughs> it it who it looks it looks really familiar to other things as well. Like I mean, they, maybe it just been like the '90s. Yeah, I early thousands so. style. Wait, I, I can't think... remember the author's name. Let me check. Oh, Yukiru Yuki Rusugi Sal or something. Sorry. Um, I oh, think it. it's look oh, at here, Look, Carrie, Dark and Crad. God, look which at that. Which one's which? Look at that which dumbass. Like, <laughs> oh no! Fucking... Which one do I kiss? Pete <laughs> <laughs> Pete Carroll design. I'll have to this, kiss both just to find this, out. D and Angel was um, did the alter ego thing before Yu Gi Oh did, I think so. You anyway, think? in the timeline. Yeah, oh, really. Probably. Yeah. Did they probably. did they have an old man and a and a young boy? But that's, but that everything like just is kind of. Everything is kind of just JoJo's, right? That's true. It's just like... Everything is JoJo's I mean, when you think about it. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that? Thanks, Mike. <laughs> Wait, well, Cole, explain. How is everything JoJo's? Because, like, I mean, it could be, like, the alter ego stuff could be, like, stands or something. I don't know. Maybe that's a stretch, but... Oh, yeah. 
I mean, that is the the general truth of um, at the root of all anime. It's just all JoJo. Yeah, all, all anime is just JoJo's. All, all anime is just JoJo's. Like it's especially like Persona, all JoJo's. All JoJo's. Persona is completely I, just JoJo stands. Everything you're describing gave me yeah, big Persona Five vibes. Yeah, which no. is weird that it like Persona Five just kind of came back into the like my zeitgeist. So yeah, there's just so many other things that I'm like, oh. Well, that's because like we get Persona Five Scramble coming out next month. Woo! Whoa. I is, can't wait. Is it actually going to be good? Uh, I it's heard gonna it's be very a, good. I mean, it's a Dynasty Warriors type Persona game, so the, mm-hmm. two of my favorite games. Yeah. Let's go. All right. And it's um, a direct sequel to Persona 5, so it's actually going to continue the story. I'm, There's a lot of reviews that said that it's like, um, it is surprisingly a lot more like Persona 5 than you'd think. That's also, I mean, it sounds like exactly what happened with uh, uh, Age of Hyrule. Calamity. Yeah. 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 Was that like, mm-hmm. like, I feel like the, the first Hyrule Warriors was like good, but I, I feel like... There seems to be this trend now of like, okay, we're going to do this different game style, but we're still going to make it feel much more like the actual game and have like the story yeah. be relevant. Um, yeah. I, I, I prefer that personally. They did it with yeah. Fire Emblem as well, which that's, I think was one of the first ones where they added that you could control your other units on the map. Mm, like a yeah. fire, like, oh, I want you to go over here and attack this guy. I like an actual to, strategy. I, I need to get back to streaming this because I guess this is a slight Age of Calamity spoiler. Um. You can play as Hestu, the like main Korok with like the maracas. The big one. Oh my god, really? You can play as him, and he's fucking great. Why would you want to play as anybody else? That's no. Once I got him, I stopped playing everybody else. (laughs) Because like you just like you dunking on anybody with that character is the best thing ever. Hell yeah, it's the best. So uh, that's that's (laughs) my that's my pitch is that uh, Breath of the Wild two should get scrapped, and instead of. Zelda we should do uh, Legend of Hestu. Yeah, <laughs> Age of Hestu. Shaking it up. Yeah. Sold. Hest- Hest- somewhat. Hest- somewhat H- Hestu Warrior. Age of Hestu. <laughs> <laughs> the Lelda of Zelda. Yeah. Uh, um, Aaron, please. <laughs> oh, I mean, somewhat video game and anime related. I know I'm like 20 years late, but I'm finally playing Final Fantasy VII Remake. Woo woo! Oh yeah. my gosh! And I've never. You best, you're I've not never that late because I didn't finish it. So. Okay. Uh, well, I've never I've never played a Final Fantasy game because I don't oh, wow. care for turn based games. So this That's is fair. my first time fully experiencing it. Uh, like I, I'm, I'm familiar with like the story and whatnot, just because right. it's so like ingrained as pop culture. But, I feel like yeah, we all I, saw Advent Children. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, I've actually. Yep. I own it. Yep. Um, mm-hmm. but yeah, uh, that's how far in are you? Oh, uh, no holy. one. No one finished it, and so no one understands why it's the best remake of a game ever made. Yeah, I didn't yeah, even yeah. finish it, and I feel like it is. I fin. Oh well, more like uh, my SO and I finished it. Cool. <laughs> I, I only uh, started. So you it. know, you know. <laughs> that's the thing. We get to get. To, we never got to talk about it on Control Z because Sam never finished it. Sam, I'm calling you out oh, in no. this chat right <laughs> now. See, I only started this past weekend. Um, I'm only, mm-hmm. I think I'm up to chapter four with uh, Jesse Jesse's mission. Uh, so I'm very early in, but I yeah. want to play Jesse's it. best girl. So, yeah. And why does everybody want to fuck Cloud? Like, I get it, but Jesus why Christ. Why don't you? Well, you Literally. said you get it, though, Aaron. I get it, but <laughs> Jesus it, Christ, but nobody can keep it well, in their Aaron pants. Wants, <laughs> Aaron wants Cloud for him. To- for herself. I, I want Cloud, but then I also want Cloud to go to therapy. Like, Jesus Christ, oh, yeah. dude. Oh, yeah, that, that's a valid one. Yes, there it is. There yeah, it is. I'm, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. So. Oh, yay! I had to bring that up. Maybe maybe that'll motivate me to get back into it. I need to finish it. You I don't have, want me to surpass you. That would be I have the weirdest story with that where, like, I, I barely played... I think I've said some of this before. I barely played 7, the original, because there was a period of time for PlayStation where I did not have enough... I didn't... Either I didn't have a memory card, I didn't have enough space... So there's like, <laughs> I, I've replayed the beginning of Final Fantasy VII and VIII a ton. A ton, um, yeah. But I never got very far into it. And then yeah, okay. uh, uh, I, uh, I've i seen Avent Children multiple times. And I did 100%, uh, uh, what was it? 10? No, no, this, uh, the PS, the fucking Final Fantasy VII on, on the PSP. Oh, oh uh, Crisis oh. Core. Crisis Core, yeah, I did 100% oh Crisis God. Core before even playing Final Fantasy VII. Um, so that's the kind of energy I'm bringing. What? What a what a path yeah. you've gone on! Wow. <laughs> yeah. It was on the it's PSP. Valid. I like I like portable gaming. I like having that's my true. PlayStation Crisis portable. Crisis Core rules. Crisis Core. That was, was actually the good. first one that I beat, and then I went back after that because I'd played Final Fantasy VII growing up, but I'd always name myself Sephiroth. So I'm, so sad. I can't, Sephiroth. I'm so sad. I can't name Cloud something stupid in the remake. Yeah. I know. Like Crad. Like, yeah, Crad. Like, <laughs> what's Cloud spelled backwards? <laughs> 
Killer UV. It's probably also Crad. Duluk? Duluk? <laughs> Duluk? Can I, this is, this is, uh, we don't want to talk about this long. This is just a random check. Okay, I played that game in <laughs> my junior year of high school. Mm-hmm. So over 10 years ago. Final Fantasy VII? Uh, uh, Crisis Core. Crisis Core. So I played that game for, you know, weeks. I beat it completely. Yeah. Is it bad or weird? I meant, I've asked this before. I don't remember a single thing about it. Oh, really? Like, literally, literally nothing. And I've it's never not, played oh. it, but I remember, like, the last cutscene. Like, oh, man, that's just broke like, my heart. Because that, like, that was, like, framed everything for me. Because yeah. I had a very bad Final Fantasy um, VII experience. Uh-oh. Where the first time I played Final Fantasy VII, um, do we spoil Final Fantasy VII, the original? Do we mm-hmm. care? Yes. I, told, I just said, like, it's don't. so ingrained the in pop culture. One? The original? Yeah. The well, because okay. I don't know what's going to happen in the remake. <laughs> Oh, this that's has like a new with the remake. Problem. This has nothing to do with the remake. Well, that this has to do with the original 1997, covers, covers 1993. It's the stuff everyone knows. I won't spoil it because you guys don't want to spoil it. But <laughs> does... essentially, somebody, my, my friend, introduced the game to me and told me characters not to pick or oh. use. Oh, oh. And was just like, don't use that character. I was like, why? And he he told me why not to use them. And so I was like, okay. Sure, and I didn't know why. And then he also told like major spoilers of the game, so Oof. I was just like, "Man, they suck!" Oh, and, I, and I didn't know they were spoilers. Like, yeah. And, and I just want to be clear too. Uh, what I was asking is not a commentary on Crisis Core, but more uh, a fear of my memory slipping. Yeah. Further and further away <laughs> okay. from me. Um, um, no, Crisis Core. Like I remember. Oh, I like. Still, that's like the, that meme. It's like what lives in your head rent free. Oh, yeah. It's like, Crisis like, Core. The last fourth of that game. Just Zach. Zach and like the final battle and like, oh, yeah, that part where that part where, where he and Cloud like make out is like really. That's the one part I remember. Yeah, well, that's yep. Yeah, him, him and Ange- and Angel's in there too. Yeah. Ooh. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> All the spiky here, boys. There's a reason that he's named Wedge, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and Biggs. Um, Darglefob and chat says Queenix did recently trademark something called Ever Crisis and something called they the did. First Soldier. So mm. that's some interesting. If we info. get to play a Sephiroth, I'll piss my yeah. pants. You don't um, have to. I'm gonna piss my pants, Carrie. <laughs> uh, I'm going to pee right now. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna pee right now. If you can play a Sephiroth. Um, it is uh, the time, Mike, to me. Because I need to do a thank you. I need to thank our first members. Uh, thanks, guys. Uh, you guys get some awesome, amazing things for keeping our lights on. Some exclusive shows, watching episodes early at a nice discount in the store. So thanks for being here to support us. You can join us in chat right now. Like I said, I keep it up every time. Austin is there. Someone named Austin. I know like five people named Austin. Um, so you are the Austin in chat to me. Uh, Molly Flood's in there right now. Caesar, thank you. Sam is also in there. You can see us do some off-camera stuff because Cole has yelled at Sam recently because, um, hi, oh, Cole said hi. Thanks, Cole. A Simple Line 18 is there. Love you guys. Furt, furt, furt. Yeah, be furt. Oh, wait, is that, is that Austin H-Town? I'm not sure. I, I think it is. Austin. I clicked, is, Harvick, is that you? Is that you? He come back to us. Your staff isn't. Come back to us. <laughs> Yeah, it's a ghost. <laughs> thanks, first members. Thanks, first. Thanks, Furt members. Appreciate furt, ya. Furt, 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 furt. All right, let's, anime. We should talk about anime. anime. Like we, we can talk about yeah. anime. Like we pop. Like we <laughs> promised. Yeah, we should have done the thing where like we brought Cole on talk about anime and then not talked about it. The and then not talk. Oh, all right, hey guys. Torturous. <laughs> what? Which anime are we gonna talk about? What are we talking about? What are we talking about? Um, there's so many anime. This there's is so like, many anime. Last last year of anime was kind of bad. I don't know if anyone knew this. Pandemic anime is I, pandemic <laughs> anime was kind of bad. Did not watch a lot. <laughs> there was there was good shows within, but really? as a general premise, like I know Gigak always makes the joke. It's like, oh yeah, if you were an anime fan last year, you didn't watch anime. Yeah, I, uh, like, <laughs> that makes me feel I don't think I watched anything new. <laughs> if you were an anime fan, you watched VTubers, but oh uh, yeah, that's true. What yeah, is anime? Like, uh, is VTubing anime? This is the yes, next question. It's. VTubing is like live action anime. I love it. Mm, well, live uh, action surprise, surprise. Anime. Cole likes VTubers. These shows, uh, well, I don't have to start, but I'm just, the, we should, let's talk about the shows that we're watching. I am watching Attack on Titan, and I am watching Promised Neverland. Those are the shows that I'm watching. And Celeste. Are you, are you caught up? Are you, uh, I know. I am caught up on both right now. I'm, I am, and ju- I am, just animes, not mangas. 
I'm behind on both of them, but both are on the list of like stuff I need to catch up on. Same as these. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I watched all of season one of Promise Neverland and I really liked it. Two, I haven't started yet, but I've heard things and I'm a little afraid to start it. I, 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 I have heard bad things about it or just that it's like crazy still. I I don't know. I only saw this like headline in passing, but mm. somebody was saying um, the anime is like going in a different direction. And I don't oh, know no. what that is. That's, so mm. the the biggest super fan of Promise Neverland I know is uh, my roommate Mel. Mm-hmm. <gasps> yeah, she loves it. <laughs> <laughs> it's her. And uh, she told me that it was kind of going off the, like going off the rails. Oh no! Or a little bit from it. Is it good though? Hi, Mel. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, tell tell her, tell her to go over there and ask her if it's good. Uh, Mel, come over here. <laughs> Whoa! Surprise, Ooh, fifth live. guest. Live. Oh, she's like in the middle. You have to credit. Right you have to credit Mel. She's in the middle of working on Ruby right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, never no, oh, no, like, She's downstairs. She's about to go get Misty. Oh, Sam, you have to credit Mel now Mel. for the credits. <laughs> yeah, you have to credit Mel. Mel, it's promised never land good. Yes, it's great. Watch it. <laughs> Yay! Do we have any questions? Do we have any questions? Ask, for ask Mel? her. Ask her if she's worried about it. It changing from the manga. Are you worried about it changing from the manga? Um, a little bit, because I really like it, but I also heard that a lot of people didn't like the ending, oh, but no. I don't know what the ending is, because I didn't finish it the month oh. yet, so. Okay, so maybe okay. it's a change for the best. <laughs> Thanks, Mel. Right, she can go Thank pick you. up the she can, I don't know why I said it louder. Like, if I say it, <laughs> like, 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 if I yelled, <laughs> it would, like, Pierce. Says, thank you. Okay, so thank you. Tell, tell her to um, charge 10 minutes. To have yeah. <laughs> 10 minutes. Yeah. Uh, Issa, should, should we talk about, uh, like, time... <laughs> And like how you experience it. <laughs> Sorry, no. Um, it's a joke, guys. Uh, well, <laughs> Mel had to get ready. She didn't put her makeup on. Yeah. She's gonna have to take makeup off now yeah. for this. So, uh, <laughs> I, I, as a person who has not watched the manga, who has not read the manga, <laughs> uh, and who's very tired, uh, who has not read the manga and enjoyed the first season a lot, I am very much enjoying the season two so far. It. Okay. Uh, if you're not, I, I don't. We don't want to talk spoilers. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, Promise Neverland. Uh, this is only spoilers for the first episode, uh, is, is a show about a group of orphans, uh, in, who are kind of like on this like secluded farm who find out that they are part of a, uh, let's just say larger demonic world and they need to escape, um, or Mm -hmm. bad things will happen. Uh, and, uh, it is simultaneously like very wholesome because it's like a bunch of these like seriously like 10 to 12 year old kids like coming together and then it's also like it fucked up yeah it's one of the few anime that justifies having kid protagonists uh. yes like this like, this story that... only works because they're kids yeah like i, I say this all the time i'm a little like I, sometimes i'm a little like annoyed by how much i have to be invested in the lives of these kids <laughs> Like, love lives, whether they survive in a demonic world, whether they survive being trapped in a video game. It's always kids. Why can't it be, like, a 30-year-old? It is It is <laughs> definitely very much in, in alliance with, like, Attack on Titan. Like, it is very much not for the faint of heart. Um, uh, yes. But this is, like, another level because it is uh, kids. I would say mm. it is definitely more on the thriller side rather than, like, pure horror. Like, there's no, like, yes. guts or True. gore or anything. It's just, like, uh, kind of... Well, I, don't, I haven't seen it. Well, I haven't watched season two. I don't think season one had any of that, really. It, it, the, it has some blood. The, yeah, it's some blood, they're, but it's not like... You're right. They're, they, they are, they more go for um, uh, very... Spe- yeah, it's a lot of tension and some very yeah. specifically placed um, shocking imagery. Yeah. But it is not necessarily, like, gory that, like, Attack on Titan. Yeah, does. so, like, yeah, like, it's not, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, highly recommend it. Um, the, it's, it, I don't, I can't even tell you where to watch it. I'm watching on Funimation, but it's Crunchy only, roll. you can watch it on Funimation. Yeah. But I think yeah. you can watch season one in other places, but maybe uh, I watched it on Crunchyroll. So, so I originally because watched Because dot Moe is your number one source for finding where to watch anime. Go to because dot Moe and you can type in the name promised. Mm. Wow. Neverland. Like promised Neverland is available on Funimation, Crunchyroll, Verve, High Dive. Yes. But I believe that so. I believe the newest season is only on Crunchyroll. Funny, funny, yep. Oh, yeah. Good funny to mission. know. Guess I gotta get a funny. Yeah, I ended up getting one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? What? Well, are, they have what, like other other things I need to, on there that I need to watch. So, mm-hmm. I guess it's time. The Funimation has like I feel bad because Funimation has all the best anime right now. 
why like, why do you feel bad with the exception that? i feel bad about like if you, if you have to decide one mm-hmm. service to get mm-hmm. i would recommend getting funimation mm-hmm. yeah I like think, i love i, I love crunch roll of both of them but if you had to decide between the two like and it's all gonna get muddied up whenever the the merger happens but oh yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i like once yeah that gets pushed through it's, well, it's, for it's a while, really... um, when they had that partnership, like uh, two or three years ago, yeah, like mm-hmm. they had both catalogs on each yeah. other's yeah. websites. So. And you can, I don't know, yep. a lot of times uh, if stuff is on Hulu, uh, Funimation is also on Hulu. Yeah. Not all the time, but sometimes. Yeah, I know they, they've had a deal. It, we'll see what happens with the Sony Ooh. Sony deal, yeah. but yeah. that'll be crazy. Um, What's everyone else watching? I haven't started watching anything yet. There's so I, I, much. I, I want to watch Doctor so Stone. Much. I, 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 would, I, would, I would let other people go first because there's just too much. Yeah. You can also watch it on Hulu. Sorry. There you go. Yeah, I want to watch Doctor Stone. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm one of those people where I'm, I'm, I can only fixate on one thing at a time. So right now it's, it's Final Fantasy. Um, yeah, that's fair. So maybe once I'm done with that, I'll catch up on on the animes. But Doctor Stone is definitely on my list. That was like the one I was really hyped for. So. Really and cool. I guess Attack on Titan as well, but I need to catch up on the yeah. previous seasons. But I yeah, know there's... vaguely what happens, so. There's a ton of stuff that's like, I mean, this is just a ton of second seasons this this year, or like oh, yeah. this season that are, or, or, or uh, right? yeah, sequel seasons, like Attack on Titan, Promised Neverland, Dr. Stone, oh. Slime, ReZero, Quintessential Quintuplets, V-Stars, uh, Cells at Work, Log Horizon, uh let's keep let's see if we can keep going uh laid back camp uh is that grand blue no that's something else i thought you were doing um, this off the dome I just not on not on biori uh that's a what lot. was that one they're not non biori it's a very wholesome healing show about cute girls living in the countryside of course just going to school doing fun things it's it's like yeah. super wholesome and very very good All right. if, yeah if, if you need a healing show if you're watching attack on titan or uh uh promise everland Promise Neverland, and you need it like you watch an episode. You're like, I need to feel good. Yeah. Then that's like your laid back camps or your. Maybe uh, I need to try that. No, not Biori. I'm only watching um, depressing anime right now. Uh, but. Oh, go ahead, Isa. There's a. Because I. Have, call out in chat for Wonder Egg, and I remember seeing. That's someone... I had two shows that I highly recommend everyone watch: Wonder Egg Priority and Hori uh, uh, Hori Mia. Okay. So. Yeah. I was gonna, you call I was me? gonna check out Wonder Egg. <laughs> I was gonna check out Wonder Egg because I saw a screenshot and I was like, "Oh, that's pretty cute." What is so, that one? Did, what is that uh, one? Wonder Egg is, it's intense. Oh, it's no. very intense. Never mind. So, uh, Wonder Egg. Did any of y'all ever watch Flip Flappers? I wanted to. No. Oh, I, seen, I remember. Uh, didn't we like flip? criticize the shit out of that one? Yes. No, no that, it that wasn't was, that was Flip Flappers. It was something else. That was, that yeah, was, was Handshakers. I did yeah. see. Handshakers. Yeah. Handshakers. I saw the first five episodes of Flip Flappers. I remember that. Flip Flappers is the most Trigger show that was never made by Trigger. Ooh. Yes. How did I, I miss this? Which is, uh, I don't know, because I told everyone about it. I shouted about it from the rooftop. Cole. It um, was, it was you, during fan service. You know it's it was during fan service. You, man. Did y'all know? Uh, so Wonder Egg Priority is if, uh, and it's not Kyo Annie, but it's if Kyo Annie did Flip Flappers. Yes, yeah. So it's super weird, super, thing, super like, uh, mind, like a lot of mind games. Ooh. It's essentially a girl is going from like is entering people's dreams to try and collect enough wonder eggs to be able to revive her friend who committed suicide by jumping from her school roof. Oh wow. Oh, Damn, okay. No. But it what happens when she steals people's eggs? They have we haven't gotten to that part yet. And oh, I won't say, even if I did I wouldn't spoil Uh-oh. it. Oh. Also, did y'all so, know they made a handshakers um season 2 somehow? Yeah, I, I don't know. Probably- I don't know how or why. I don't know who was asking for it, but once I found yeah. that out, it blew my mind. Ooh, look at that. It really does look like QA. It is. Uh, are y'all able to do gifts? Let me see. Gifts. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. But it does um, look like QA. Kyo-A-ni. Yeah. Animation. Uh, let's see. There was one. There was like. Because I've been. Mel and I have been watching more anime. Just like. Well, uh, in nights that The Bachelor isn't on. Of course. We'll, <laughs> yeah. watch, we'll watch a ton of, of anime. The um, Bachelor is the be- the most anime d- show that there is. True, out there. true. Uh, Cole said um, it's a stab. Stab. I'm trying to find the gift right okay. now. Um, it's there's a lot of blood, a lot of intensity. Okay. Like, oh, is this the gift? Yes. Here's the gift. Oh, is the it, gift is it like an egg being like <laughs> squished? Yeah. <laughs> well, no. Like she, the, the the first wonder egg she has, she throws it all in a bathroom, and a bigger girl pops out. Eh? Well, an average size girl. 
Oh. Here. Interesting. This, I have this is what uh feelings about that. <laughs> anime. Yeah. <Egg>. Anime. <laughs> so this is this was the first gift that Mel Mel saw. Uh-oh. Um but it's it's very it just feels really good. It feels like it's going to be like a, a instant like stuff people are going to talk about it for a while. If it ends well, if it ends well, who knows. But oh, but, but this is not a feel good one. No, I wouldn't <laughs> okay. watch it if you want to feel good. Um Okay. okay. There's some promise to it. Like, there's some, like, oh, hope, and, like, you can get kind of excited. Like, I remember, I was like, oh, this is really intense. This is so cool. But uh, I mean, Promise Neverland no. has hope, and then it also has dismemberment. Yeah. So. Now, if you do want to feel good, Hori Mia is the next show that you should What did you call out. me? <laughs> cool. I made that joke already. <laughs> I know. It was a bad gif. Oh, oh God. God. Oh, oh, my God. Oh. Oh, my. Oh, I thought her all. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh, oh god! What's wrong with her face? I hope, it, I hope there would have been more. Yeah, it was like some Doki Doki stuff. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm very intrigued. It's now. like they just open a door and see that girl in the hall, and a bunch of little gremlins pop out, and they're like, <laughs> like hopping around. Um, um, Austin in chat called, said, "Mother's basement." The YouTube anime YouTuber called it Hyoka meets Madoka, which. Mm. Whoa! Oh, I I'd, I'd seen that like there that was like a people were talking about it and saying no to. People, no, like two people who like tweet a lot about anime yeah. have given the same two descriptors. Mm. Interesting. Mm. It's like Interesting. so different. Like people were picking up different things from it. Yeah. Um, but the other thing that you should check out if you want a healing show is Hori Mia. Yeah. It is. It's a high school romance show. I mean, we've seen those, but it's like about this girl who is like the 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 preppiest girl in school. Like everyone, all the guys want to be with her. All the girls want to be her. It's that that character, but when she goes home, her mom and dad are very busy, and so she has to like turn into uh, Mrs. Mom at home and oh, take no. care of her kid, mm. uh... and like doesn't want people at school to see that side of her. She's like, I want to keep up the presentation. I don't want them to see me like yelling at my little brother to do his homework, mm. to like be vacuuming. To, I, I want to seem like I have it all together. That and sounds she, depressing. Uh, she yeah. has an interaction with like the guy that everyone thinks is an otaku because he has like long black hair, sits in the c- corner by himself. Even in the summer, he's wearing his jacket, um, and they're like, "Oh, he's an otaku. He's probably like looking up panties, <laughs> whatever." Like, yeah. and uh, one day she accidentally bumps into a guy who has like a bunch of tattoos and piercings and stuff. And <gasps> is it bad him? Boy, he recognizes that she that she's a uh, uh, hori uh, and goes hey and like starts like essentially helps her brother when he like falls down and brings him back home he's like oh hey uh hey Hori like I'll come back hey uh, do you have any can you help me with some homework and like it's about them having this secret identity that they can share because he the reason he wears his hair long is because it's uh, bad to have tattoos the reason he wears jackets is because if he goes to school in a short sleeve shirt they're gonna see his tattoos mm. and so it's like well they, they both uh, enjoy having that one piece of secret knowledge about the other that they're like oh like this has given us a starting place for a bond and so it's then like them a, interacting with people who are interested in each other. And it's just like uh, blossoms into this whole thing of everyone uh, being friendly and wholesome. Issa. So <laughs> it's basically uh, 2021 his and her circumstances. Yes. See, I was ah. going to say Kobayashi's <laughs> Dragon's Maid meets Memento. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Is he Listen, wrong? I'm trying to find some good. Am I wrong? <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> my my favorite part is how um, every time Cole said Hori Mia, uh, Carrier Aaron would go, "What did you call me?" <laughs> yeah. He's saying naughty stuff. Like I don't know. What like, <laughs> so that. this was naughty. another one where uh, while Mel and I were watching, uh, the second that he showed up different, she goes, "Who is he?" <laughs> <laughs> Just like, I think she showed me this. <laughs> yes. Yep. Okay, oh, now I'm convinced. The, the, I'm convinced. Yeah, the, th- yeah, the three that. boys Mel's thirsting after right now. Uh, was it Miyakoshi? Miyakoshi? What's his name? Levi. Um, nice. Levi? Yeah. Gojo from uh, Jujutsu Kaisen. Oh, that's a handsome boy. Yeah. That's a handsome and, uh, and handsome boy here. Handsome boy here. Very yeah. nice. Very so. nice. Cool. Yeah. I'm, I'm convinced. I, I check will check out. that out. Yeah. yeah. I like both of those sound um, really interesting. Pe- stuff. Yeah. People have been like... Craven for it, like the manga is huge. People have been like, make this, make this, make this. 
and so i just googled it and it looked like it's it's considered a shonen manga and it was actually self-published i think it was um i wouldn't call it like webtoon specific but it does look like he posted it online first before it went into mm-hmm. publishing mm-hmm. so i think that's that's pretty interesting uh really cool to see an independent quote-unquote yeah. ip kind of rise into being world renowned yeah. Yeah, you love to see it happen. Yeah, very, it. very akin to uh, one's work, like One Punch Man and uh, Mob yeah. Psycho, which were both yeah, like one. Well, I comics. mean, that's also yeah, true. it's not. I mean, that's ReZero as well. Oh, is it? Where it was a oh. web series first that gained popularity, and then they came back later. And was like, okay, well, let's touch it up for a official publication. Nice. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I forgot that. Mm-hmm. Issa, have you been watching anything? No, I'm kind of I'm I'm Sorry. similar to Aaron, um, but I think something that has happened with me is that I. I ever since kind of like not being around other people, um, I've kind of hopped off of a lot of like anime watching in general. The fun fun fact is um, the only way I really watch anime is if I watch it with my SO, mm-hmm. and my SO watches One Piece religiously oh, every no. Saturday. Aww. So I now have watched more One Piece than I ever have before. Yay! But I didn't start from the beginning. I just started from like this point in the anime, and I kind of just am there to witness Which, it. I'm just a witness. What, do you know what episode you started? Because I can tell you, if you started before episode 250, you're good. Nothing, <laughs> nothing important happens before episode 250. I started at like episode like whatever they're on now, like minus 50 oh, or something. Fuck. <laughs> um, but I know the general like gist of one piece if only because it's like wiki reading, kind of like mm-hmm. what you did, Aaron. Um, I'll just read the wiki and stuff. Also, so I could read fan fiction, just whatever. I just feel like it. Um, I did watch recently the. Um, they have those specials that they release. They have. Uh, there, there's one about Chopper's origin story. I watched that yeah. one. Um, and my so explained to me some of the changes they did. But that was where I had tweeted every time Chopper cries, I cry. Yep, I was like, Issa wants to love and protect Chopper. Big <laughs> Tony Chopper. He's a very good boy. He's the best. I love <laughs> Chopper, and that's why he's the best. He's the best. Um, the best one in the crew. I, that's I it. love how much the crew platonically loves each other <laughs> in One Piece. Like, there's no rom- There's never gonna be romance. I mean, oh, that's hmm. true. Uh, what's his face needs to chill. Uh, Sanji needs to chill. Oh, Sanji needs to chill. Sanji. Yeah, tell yeah. me about it. But uh, <laughs> but then I also love. I also love how much Japan loves One Piece. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like going, like we saw so many One Piece exhibits, and it was like I was so happy that these group of friends are just out there on the high seas adventuring, <laughs> having good times. Um, oh, I guess in somewhat anime news recently, um, there was something I had retweeted uh, at a translation of an article of a, this oh, interview sorry. that he, yeah, Hideaki Anno, creator of Evangelion, gave because yeah. It was um, he was explaining his side of the story when it came down to like kind of Gynax and all the scandal around them mm-hmm. and their president oh. being arrested for crimes, um, and he was just explaining what like he's like his intro was I would like if the news outlets would stop saying create the studio that created Evangelion because yeah. I am in no way associated with these people mm. studio Gynax that is now is different than the studio Gynax that was like when Evangelion first made so mm-hmm. please like if you keep calling it like this you are putting basically like a pox on like my company yeah. my name yeah. my brand and my feel so bad for him. yeah poor guy they owe him so much money. Yeah, it's, a, it's an interesting <laughs> read. Like, I have read an article, I guess, or I don't know what it was, um, an interview sometime last year that was largely the same thing, but I guess this is more like an official translation of, like, his words. Uh, very, very, very interesting. Yeah. Oh, Especially to see see what, like, um, what current Gynax had been up to. Just doing all kinds of weird shit. <laughs> It's suspicious. Shenanigans. Yeah, it's a lot of shenanigans. <laughs> it's like, what are y'all doing? It's really surprising me that they're still around. Yeah. Well, I, apparently there's like, it's a like Gynax East, Gynax West. I don't know. There's, yeah. some, there's like a Gynax that's just like a shell company. That's just Basically, not doing anything. They, sure. I, from what I understand, the, comp- the shell company is just there to like legally hold copyright over their IPs. Mm-hmm. Nothing cool. else. Yeah, yeah, it's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> that seems reaction. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that seems like the kind of job that you like go home from every day and you're like, yeah, job well done. Yeah. Nobody's getting this copyright. You hang your hat up 
and you, you you loosen your tie and you have a have a whiskey. I have a whi- There is so one more question um, that someone in chat asked, and just because I just want to call it out, and I wanted to throw this over to you, Cole, since you might know. Has anyone seen any of Skate the Infinity? Oh. I have not. It's the new Bone Show. Oh, the new Bone Show? Dope. I didn't even know yeah. they had a new show. It's like a sports anime for skaters. What? I know. Oh, the skateboarder I know, I was telling you guys before, one. my anime collecting card game that we're doing in Discord. Yeah. Um, <laughs> True. We've been playing it nonstop. The skate, the skate cards go for a lot, so. Oh, shit. Um, oh. I know we were, like, everyone's saying, like, Chad, you have to be in this show. You know people at Funimation. Yeah, you right. have to find a way onto this show. That's cool. right. But uh, I've heard good things. I've heard, like, it's it's pretty good. Cole, you're not, you're not spending money on these cards, are you? What do you think, Carrie? Uh, Don't ask yeah, questions you're afraid to get answers for. I'll let you. I'll let you figure. <laughs> I'll let you guess the answer yourself, yeah. and whatever you guess is the truth. I have I have a okay. question for chat. I, I asked Cole this beginning of the show or before the show. Has anybody watched Hypnosis Mike, and do you recommend it? Because I have seen inklings of it, and I'm interested, but I don't know if I want to commit to it. Ooh. I have not a, heard of this. It is a, it started off as a, like a multimedia project where it's just a bunch of animated boys, like having rap battles. Nice. Um, And I stumbled across this because I found like the Nindroids for some of the characters and I was like so close to buying them just because I like the character design so much, but I hate doing that. cute. Yeah. So I was like, oh, maybe I'll, (laughs) should I watch this? Also, they use some, for the anime, they use some um, 3D CGI and I'm, I'm curious. Why is your yeah. tongue sticking out? Are you looking at the boys? Yeah. Why not, okay. Carrie? Can we, can we send it to Stab or Mike? <laughs> can Aaron look at can the boys? Can I see too? them too? <laughs> I, was just, I was just looking at, at, at the, this page right Stab now. says, send the boys to me. So, oh, oh, I sent it to Austin. Stab's ready. Stab's in Discord. Ready. Oh, yeah, send it to Austin. Yeah. <laughs> he'd, yeah. He'd appreciate that, actually. Chat, let me know. Oh, yeah. Carrie's yeah. on the whole Wikipedia up. Look at all those boys. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently they're in their Cole's cart game as well. Oh, that's yep. true. Yeah, they have, different, oh, they have like different teams. Every, and shit. every, no, no, every single character is in this anime card game. Oh shit. We found well every character except for one. Oh shit, the elusive boy. So they Mineta. have the entire cast of Ruby the in there. Oh, do they? They cool. have the entire oh, really? cast of Ruby. Yeah. Whoa. So uh, we, uh, one of my mods, Jess, she's collecting all of the Ruby cards, and I'm, I'm collecting some here. Like she's like, I'm a huge Ruby, so I'm like, okay, uh, I'm collecting moms personally, moms and Keijo. <laughs> um, uh, and uh, anyways, that's getting beside the point. Um, we were looking up, and we noticed that Atlas Pilot exists as a card. What? Richard? The Atlas so Richard Pilot? Richard officially boy? has a card of himself in this virtual card game, but Forrest does not. What? We're on Forrest does not have a card. Wiki. So Richard has a card, and Eric does not have a card. Bring hashtag. And I can't Ruby. wait to bring this up at baseball. Yeah, and watch the entire field erupt into I, applause I and laughter. I can't wait for you to bring it up and for Eric to literally not give a shit. <laughs> well, Eric's not going to give a shit. He's going to tweet about it, though. He He's going to tweet about it. Like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, for, for the memes. For the memes. He's going to tweet yeah. about it. Like, what? Hey, why is hey, there a card? Hey, hey, yeah, that's great. If you could just make sure that he puts, like, hashtag I have notes or something in the tweet, that would be awesome. <laughs> sure, sure. Thanks. This, this is my prediction. I predicted it to. Uh, I told Blaine about. it. I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah. bring this up at baseball because we, we all do baseball on Saturdays. <laughs> That's hilarious. And, uh, if you could, if you could point at this episode though, <laughs> tell him about it, and then we can have him on for an episode. And oh yeah, I, I would love it. to have Eric on. Oh, and quit do it. quizzing about anime, it. and and. St- we can make a game for him, and then yeah. he can. If you bring up like fumble. Dragon Ball Z or like '90s anime, he'd probably be fine. Yeah, let's let's quiz him on let's let's quiz him on D N Angel. <laughs> Ooh, that's actually a good idea. idea. That's not yeah. that's not too far out of the uh, out of the realm. Uh, Eric, do you believe that a character named Krad exists? <laughs> um, <laughs> so to say, <laughs> I was like, what uh, the fuck? So. Uh, my my official sign off quote. Uh, thank you to Caesar for pointing this out. Is Cole yes. Galley in 2021? I'm collecting moms. Yeah. Um, that will be the end of our show. Better, call me. Better get call some me. big jars. <laughs> <laughs> moms, where you at? <laughs> thank you, Carrie, Aaron, Cole. I love you, uh, hanging out with thank you. Thank you, Isa. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, chat, uh, for being a part of the episode. You have made our lives ex- inter- eternally 
brighter. Um, <laughs> uh, if you want to make it even here, brighter, you could share the so show. So grossly incandescent. With, share the show. Uh, your friends and, share and the rate show us with on your iTunes friends. and leave a review that says how great iTunes. we are. It's uh, true. That would be awesome. And Please subscribe, yeah. Rooster Teeth first. Subscribe. Yes. I'm a fert, yes. fert member. A fert member. Please. Um, Quiz them on your Yuhaka show. There we go. Ooh, oh, that's a good oh, one. I would that's love a Yuhaka show. Thank episode. you, Darko Fab. Um, uh, if you have a first membership, you can watch Dead Little Roosters. Uh, that comes out every Friday to PM. Wait, CSC. isn't someone isn't someone here in that? Huh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. We're trying to get Carrie. Have his, uh, I want more Issa content. It's the, oh no! Heck it's yeah. The, yeah. Go watch so if it. I want more Issa content, I can watch the Eleven Little Rooster or Dead Little Dead Roosters. Little, yeah, it's me. Yeah. Go watch it. <laughs> okay, I know what I'm doing. Oh, Issa, Issa cool. best girl. If anything knows. happens to her, I'm gonna stop watching though. Issa, She's gonna stop did you watching. did you feel out of your element? Like a fish a out of water. Basically. Were you an isekai? <gasps> Dead Little Roosters is an isekai. You heard it here first. You heard it here first. I don't want to say anything else, so I'm just going to stay out of camera for the rest of the I this. guess that's it. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>